tower in the corner, isn't it? Well, How is that possible? It's jumped up all the way along the fence. Look. That was that. In my 29 years of being a firefighter, I have never, ever seen anything of this scale. At this time, I am very sad to confirm that there have been a number of fatalities. This was really horrific. There's people who were jumping out of the place. There's a man who threw two of his children. You know, two of his children. Come on. This was a terrible tragedy that took place. People have lost their lives and others have lost everything. What we are doing is putting in place the support that will help them. Government is making money available. We're ensuring that we're going to get to the bottom of what's happened. We will ensure that people are rehoused, but we need to make sure that that actually happens. Tower fire has been possibly the worst tragedy London has seen since the end of the Second World War. As council leader, I have to accept my share of responsibility for these perceived failings. I have therefore decided to step down as leader of the council as soon as a successor is in place. Mr Speaker, from Hillsborough to the child sex abuse scandal to Grenfell Tower, the pattern is consistent. Working class people's voices are ignored, their concerns dismissed by those in power. The Grenfell Tower residents and North Kensington community deserve answers, and thousands and thousands of people living in tower blocks around the country need very urgent reassurance. Those people have died they will never come back. We have to learn those lessons to make sure this tragedy is a turning point in our whole attitude and never again do people die needlessly in a towering inferno, living in poverty, surrounded by a sea of prosperity. Amen. The cladding that was used around this town, which went up like a rocket, is banned across most European countries. It's banned in the United States. If the inquiry says it's got to be banned in this country and it's got to be torn off every single building that's got it and we have to reclad those buildings over the cost, will the government pick up the tab for that too? Well, again, my understanding is that the cladding in question, this flammable cladding, yes. which is banned in Europe and the US, is also banned here. That's my understanding. So why did it go up? In November, a residence group posted this online. It is a truly terrifying thought, but the Grenfell Action Group firmly believe that only a catastrophic event will expose the ineptitude and incompetence of our landlord. Basically, we're more concerned about getting a concierge on the door rather than putting sprinklers in. Because there was no sprinklers in there, there wasn't there? There was no fire alarms, proper ones. To see, you know, I mean, why isn't there fire? Extinguishers? To, no, there weren't no extinguishers on landings or nothing like that. You represent your government, you yes. represent your Prime Minister. If I'm in one of these tower blocks, I damn well want a sprinkler system and I want it done immediately.
The people who died and lost their homes, it, this happened to them because they are poor. We are in one of the richest spaces, not just in London, but in the world. There is no way that rich people live in a building without adequate fire safety. Everyone I spoke to who was out there couldn't hear alarms. There was no sprinkler system. There was no alarms. All people were doing was throwing things up and making noise and trying to shout and get people up. But frankly, I don't even think we should have done it, to be honest, John, because what did we wake them for? You know, they just basically, they woke up and they were still trapped in that building and no one could get out. I know that normal procedures were broken, uh, normal safety rules were, were broken. Uh, because, they risked their lives? Yeah, they risked their lives to try and save other people's lives. Sorry. Are you the one? Yeah, I am the guy. Oh my God, <laughs> I know the big man who picked me up without thinking. I just opened the door and put me up. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> A retired Court of Appeal judge, Sir Martin Moore-Bick, has been appointed to lead the public inquiry into the Grenfell Tower disaster. Mrs May said the inquiry would have full powers, including the power to compel the production of documents and to summon witnesses.